Hey guys, it's Evan from Get Shot Paintball. Today uh, I'm in my basement because Jonathan's away for the weekend in America shopping. So uh, today I have Braden on, our camera guy, and uh, he should be around here. Oh, there he is. So uh, he'll be talking about some stuff. Alright, so today we're just going to be doing a gear bag video. Uh, we've already uploaded one from Evan. Uh, if you guys want to check that out, it's on the website and on our channel. So I figured I should be doing mine, but first I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Uh, recently I bought a Sierra 1, and it comes with a Cyclone Feed Hopper. Well, um, I'll be doing a review on that probably soon. Maybe some shooting videos or not, whatnot. But uh, this is first thing off that's going to be in my gear bag, and we'll do a video on that later. Next we have my gear bag, Hold on. Uh, which includes this vest that I'm wearing that's interchangeable to be black. Uh, I also got, what have I got? I've got, first thing off in my bag I usually do is, a good idea for all of you guys to do, is most paintball places require you to fill out, like, an insurance form. Uh, they require that, some of them require you do it there in their presence, but most of them don't. So what I like to do is I grab, like, a bunch of them, and then, for instance, tomorrow if me and Evan were going to go paintballing, which we are, we already have them filled out, and all we do is give it to them, and then we can start right away. So it's a good time saver. You can usually print them off online too, yeah. if they're like bigger people places. Next, uh, what I wear, I usually just wear blue jeans uh, and this vest and a hoodie, uh, depending on the weather and all that. Next, I have uh, a little toolkit, which uh, Evan has one too. It's just uh, got Allen keys, and manual, a little like band-aids and stuff like that, which I recommend having because in case your gun breaks, uh, instead of having to stop for the whole day, you can try and fix it yourself, and hopefully that works. Not the band-aids. The yeah. band-aids are <laughs> you. If you hurt yourself. Anyways, and next I have just pillowcases for my Sierra 1, but I didn't bother putting them in the bag because I wanted to show you guys what it was. So I usually just cover that up so they don't get scratched, like the scope and everything, keep them in good shape. Uh, next, I have my uh, Spider MR100, which you guys know was my old gun. I'm still keeping it and bringing it in case anything goes wrong, and I can use it for speedball too. Because there's only a single trigger on his yeah, one. Yeah, which we'll be doing a review on later. Yeah. A little barrel. Good idea, like Evan, if you don't have a book cover like Evan's, a good free idea. Get an old pillowcase and cut it, and you can throw your barrels in there. Next, uh, with the Sierra 1, as you guys know, I had a 20, or 12 ounce sorry, uh, CO2 tank, but I recently bought a uh, two, actually, 3,050 uh, cubic inch PSI, uh, P uh, HPA, sorry. Uh, I got this one, it's actually out of hydro, but I also got another one that I'll show you guys, and it's in hydro. I believe it's got like four years left on it, and uh, it's a lot better than CO2. We might do a video on the comparison of the two gases and different kind of tanks you can get. Uh, I think Evan got a 4500. Um, I don't have that much money so I had to go the cheaper way which isn't bad, it's better than CO2 and you can actually tell how much air is left in it. And then I also had my view loader pod pack which uh, used to hold two of these but uh, I needed something to hold my tank because I uh, got a remote, remote line with it. So I got a uh, like I cut my pod pack, like the stitching down the middle, and it fits perfectly for my tank. Which, by the way, we'll be doing a shooting video on and show you how to like install that and cool ideas like that. Like the remote line. Yeah, like the remote line. And then I got my two pods, the view loader 1,000 round holders, and I just put my name on them with tape in case I need them and don't want them to get lost. I think you meant 100 round, not 1,000. Did I say 1,000? I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I meant 100 if I did say that. Then I have my Empire uh, Hopper, gravity fed. It's just there in case I need it or for my MR100 because my Cyclone won't fit on that, especially made for the Sierra 1. You can pick these up for about like five bucks. I believe a KW surplus. Pretty durable, unlike Evans that got shot and broke, which was actually mine. Uh, I got a rag in here and a barrel blocker just in case. You never know. Clean out your gun. I got my hat, which is a good idea. Like we've said before, keep it from getting hit in the head, which can hurt. A pair of socks in case. Uh, I got my barrel blocker, which I have another one on my Sierra 1. One for each gun. You never know when you need them. 
And I have, I believe, two 14-inch barrels, three 14-inch barrels in here, one for the Sierra 1 with the special threads, and the other two for the MR100. And then I got my uh, Extreme Rage 12-ounce CO2, just in case. You never know when you'll need extras. And a little, this is actually a good idea. It's a little screwdriver kit. You can get it at the dollar store. Uh, it's like a buck, and you get a bunch of little screwdrivers. And then just on the side pockets, that's pretty much it. Like it, that's left in my bag. But I got my uh, remote line here. It's got the uh, quick release valve. No slide though, which we'll be talking about later. Um, and yeah, it's pretty good. It's brand new when I bought it off online. And then I just got my squeegee in here and some tools. I got a screwdriver in here, a bigger screwdriver. And I think that's pretty much it. Let me just check this pocket over right here. Yeah, I got my stock. And one other thing, I got two pairs, well, one pair of good gloves, which uh, are really good for if you get shot in the hand because you don't really feel it, which is one of the worst places to get hit. And then you got your uh, neck guard. He's got a paintball one. I just have a hockey one. Like he said, they were just as good. I got my collapsible stock for the MR100. And then I got, last thing, I got some JT, just speedball gloves. Don't really use them, but you never know. And it's all just inside of a normal duffel bag. No need to go out and buy, like, a big expensive paintball bag unless you absolutely need it. But I found that this held everything pretty well. And that's pretty much it. So, yeah, uh, check us out on our website and check out other videos on our channel. And then also like, subscribe, and uh, rate this video. So, yeah. One Thanks. last thing, guys, I do have my mask. I forgot to mention that. Yeah. <laughs>